All right, eighth grade, what we just went over, I'll be going over again and right now. Simplifying algebraic expressions. It's important to remember these negatives go with the numbers that are right behind them. If you don't do that, it will make your life a lot harder. So when we look at these, 9 plus 13 makes for 22. All right, 22 plus a negative 5 makes for 17. 17 plus 3 makes for 20. 16 and negative 8 make for 8. 8 and 4 make for 12. 12 and negative 1 make for 11. We get our answer. 6 and 9 make for 15. Positive 15, negative 10 make for 5. 5 positive, 3 positive makes for 8. 17 positive, 8 positive makes for 25 positive. 25 positive, negative 20 positive makes for 5. 5 positive, negative 2 makes for 3. And we've got our answers. 7, all right. Terms in an expression are separate. They're separated by the symbols. There are four terms here. These four different terms, some of them might have things in common, but to be like terms, you need to have exactly the same thing in common. 7x to the first, 2x to the first. Those are exactly alike. When that happens, we can add the whole numbers or the numbers that are in there. So we could also say 9x plus 5 minus 3y if we add the 2x and the 7x. Okay? Now, constants uh, before the term because none of them have a variable. So if there was 5 and like an 11 over there, we could add those because they would be like terms, neither one having a variable. All right, we move on. Equivalent expressions have the same value for all values of the variable. X is going to be the same in all situations. Y is going to be the same in all situations in the one problem. To simplify, perform all possible operations, including combining like terms. Combining like terms is going to be the first thing you always do. That's why they're showing it to us first. All right, we see here a to the first, a to the first. So now we look at the numbers. Positive 14, negative 5. That is going to give us 9a. They'll say, look, identify those like terms. Combine the coefficients, 14 minus 9. And then you get, don't forget about your variable there. Here in this one. Identify the like terms. Okay. Positive 7, negative 3. So that would be a 4. Positive 8, negative 1. So that would be a 7. We add those like terms. Those two go together and get the 4y squared plus the y plus the 7. Here, we look at our like terms. Those can go together. Positive 5, negative 2, 3t squared. Positive 7, negative 3. That would be a 4p. And since that's a positive 4p, you put an addition sign. And you've got your answer. All right, they identify their like terms. They combine them, and they got the same as us. In this one, we look at the terms. All of them are different. No like terms, so it, so it stays as is. Distributive property, a times b, a times c, oh, ab plus ac. It's a way to expand that problem. 2, 3 plus 5, so it could be 2 times 3 plus 2 times 5. You add those together, 8 times 2 is 16. This is 6, this is 10, 
that's 16 as well. It doesn't change anything, it's just a way to use the problem. Okay? So here, that is 30. Distribute it there. That's 6n minus 2n. I look at like terms, positive 6n, negative 2. That's 4n. We have our answer. These aren't like terms, they can't be added. They distribute them. We get what we had up there. They add the like terms, which are these two. They get the 30 plus 4n. x plus 3x equals. Notice we have an equal mark now. When we have an equal mark, we can solve, and that's our overall goal. You'll add like terms first. Remember, there's an understood one there. So 4x equals 48. Divide by 4 to get that x by itself. Do it on one side. You must do it on the other side. x equals 12. All right. We watch them step through it. 4x equals 48. They divide both sides by 4. And they get x equals 12. All right. We've done all those problems before. Today, after watching this and that, go ahead and try the lesson. If we have real struggles, we'll figure out something. Thanks, guys.